everybody welcome back to the channel we went away for a little while but it is january the second monday here of the new year 2023 so happy new year this uh episode i figured i'd wait a little long just to get this one out because it's been so long since i talked to you guys last but um the reason the topic is called levels and I want to kind of get into what are levels and, and what is my message for the new year and, you know, just trying to help people get to their goals. There's always different ways to get them there. And what may work for somebody who's further along may not work for the person who's just starting. And so essentially, I was in a podcast last night or just a little Sunday night chat with a guy called Michael Burt. And let me preface who Michael Burt is. You know, I own the Jim Rockbox here locally in Murfreesboro. Tennessee. And this guy came in and he was a, a member and I had no clue who he was, but he, I was behind the counter one day and he passed along a couple books. And one of them, those was called person of interest, a little small book. And he goes, this one's for you. And he goes, I think your, your, uh, you know, your, your staff can uh, use this next one, which was a million dollar follow-up. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, well, this is pretty cool. This guy's got his own books, but I'm like, had no clue that this guy just sitting in my, you know, membership uh, pool, you know, of people that, you know, come to the gym and, uh, you know, an author sitting in my backyard. So I was like, all right, cool. Let me uh, let me take a look at this and see who this guy is. First off, right. Obviously, I do my background. And so <clears throat> I got a chance to dive a little deeper and saw that this guy was a big name, you know, professional development coach, a speaker, spoke on the stage of 10X Cardone's uh, show a few years back, and he kind of goes around and, and tours and uh, speaks to the high level business professionals speaks to real estate insurance, uh, mortgage, uh, you know, you name it, this guy's there and people invite him out to speak. And so a man like this guy's doing things on another level. So I started reading his book. And, um, you know, his whole coach is everybody needs a coach in their life. And he's got like these really cool one liners and these like, you know, little hooks that he has and his, his delivery is pretty damn solid. And I, at the time, <clears throat> was getting ready for my talk that I had in Tampa in June when Les Brown spoke. It was the 2020 Vision Summit. And, you know, I reached back out to him after I started reading his books and said, hey, uh, let's grab a cup of coffee, see if there's any synergy. And just, you know, I just wanted to pick this guy's brain a little bit because I had no clue who he was and kind of just wanted to, to know him more, you know, see see where he's been, what he might know. And see if it could be useful to me at any point. And, you know, that's kind of where it was left. And he he reached back out and said, sure, um, love to. But, you know, I'm just traveling. I'll get back to you. I said, okay. Two weeks later, he goes and um, sends me a text message at Thursday night. And uh, I get him sitting there watching the, some TV with my wife. And I gets it. And he says, hey, I'm going to be speaking at Top Golf in the morning. We're going to take the jet over to Nebraska or somewhere like that, you know, speak to another uh, little conference and we'll be back by dinner. Do you want to go? I'm like, what do I want to go? Um, are you talking about a private jet in my head? I'm thinking, or are we just taking an airplane ride or something? I was like, yeah, let's go. Uh, I was like, you know, you usually get too many opportunities where people say something like that to you. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. And at the time, you know, I'm working for myself so I could just shuffle my schedule. And so I say yes, and uh, tomorrow or the next day it is, we go out and this guy just slays it. He he delivers to this group of um, you know, professionals. I think they were in insurance at the time, um, in Top Golf, and you know, they're sitting there, you know, just eating this guy's stuff up, and and I am too. I mean, he's just his delivery is just great. He always tells a little story. He's a little bit funny. His he's very articulate the way he speaks and pronounces. Um, you know, so just real good delivery. And then we go hit his jet, you know, we're in a private jet and uh, we take that over to Nebraska or wherever we went, spoke to that audience and we're back by, by, by lunch or by dinner rather. And I sat there and I said, man, there's just people doing things on just another level. And although I thought I was doing things good, you know, there's just other levels that you can be on and uh, exist in this life. And so, you know, it stepped me back and said, okay. You know, I'm on this path and I'm moving along at a, at a comfortable pace, you know, nothing to, you know, praise, but nothing to be, you know, upset with either. I was, I was living, uh, you know, 
an entrepreneur's life where I worked for myself and I was making a wage and I was helping people out. So I was in fulfillment. But I saw and I stepped back and I said, all right, what can I learn from this experience? This guy is a hustler, man. He had two two events. He got up the very first thing in the morning and his day was packed. We we literally had like such little timing where he basically fit all these things in his day. And he was back and he was able to enjoy, you know, the the evening with his uh, you know, his family. And he probably was actually podcasting or doing something when he got home because <laughs> this guy's just an animal. But anyway, you know, so I reproached him and said, when I was working on Wall Street. I had a very lucrative opportunity to basically be an apprentice, a junior trader, a clerk, whatever you want to call me for two years. And in those two years, the first year I was essentially just learning, but the second year I actually got a chance to trade. And, um, you know, somebody gave me their position and said, you're doing so good, trade this, make money, and we'll, we'll, we'll give you some kickback or bonuses. So I did that. And, um, you know, then these guys, the, the, the people that I worked for in Wall Street would then turn around and then back me financially, as far as like my, um, you know, investment partners, if you will, and they would take a percentage of what my profits were. And that's how it worked. And so I kind of reapproached Michael Burt, Coach Burt is what he goes by, um, you know, it's kind of the same approach. I said, Hey, you know, although I'm this further along in my career, I'm willing and able to take like a, a backseat here and say, you know what, I want to learn from you. I want to, I want to know what you know, I want to, you know, pick up uh, the things that you've, you know, educated yourself on over the years and how you, you know, became such a great speaker. And I just, I just wanted to know more about this guy. And I figured the best way was to basically be around this guy, you know, by through osmosis, just picking up what he was giving and, and hopefully he would pour into me and I could develop into the skills um, and, and desires that I had for my life as well. And, and just level up, if you will. And so, you know, he didn't say no, he said, okay, um, let's have a conversation about it. And so we kind of went through this phase where we were, you know, talking and trying to figure it out for a little while. And then finally, he reapproached me and said, well, look, this is what I need. And this is the the area of my business that I could use help on. And it was sales and different things. And um, although it wasn't what my ideal desires were, you know, I said, if this is the opportunity that comes around, and this is the way that I can get, you know, closer to somebody who's working on a on another level that I'm working, you know, then fine, I'm, I'm going to say yes, I'm going to figure it out. And that's on top of, you know, the other three things that I had going on. I'm a, I'm a health coach, obviously, for the battle plan. I uh, own a gym. But you know, I was lucky enough at the time to, you know, have some bodies to get in there and, and do the work for me. And then I'm a co founder of a software company Metron. And who we also work with digital marketing and CRMs. And so I have these three other things going on. And I said, yeah, I'm going to throw one more thing on my plate. And whether that's a good decision or a bad decision, we're going to get into that here, probably on another episode as far as like, you know, having too much on your plate and going vertical. But um, I said, yeah, I'm going to take this one up. And so I did. And, you know, I'll, I'll kind of just catch up to today. And we'll, we'll dive into this part of it. But I just want to preface the front side of the story for the conversation around levels. So we started working together. That was probably back in August. And, uh, you know, now it's January 2, uh, 2023. So we've been working together for a while. And um, obviously, as an employee of his, you know, I had to <laughs> humble myself a little bit and go into the employee role and just learn and see where I can help out and see what skill sets that I had that the team needed. And very quickly did I go from, you know, just sales to um, having a dual opportunity with another company in digital marketing, PCG Digital. Um, and and work for them too, kind of almost like as a COO, uh, as the operations and and, and uh, advisor that way. And so I was literally just adding more to my plate, and I, I learned I was getting burned out, and and I felt like there was no an immediate way for me to actually get to my goals. So I had to reevaluate some of those relationships and and you know put my two cents in of like, this is what I'm looking for out of this. I know what you guys want. This is what I'm, this is what I want now. And, um, you know, I made myself aware and, you know, here we are today. And, um, part of that coach Bert and I are actually going to be launching something called super 60. It's a basically 60 day series where you're going to be working on your health and your body, mind, heart, and spirit. And something that you guys hear me speak about a lot is the battle plan. 
which is faith, fitness, fellowship, and finances. So it's all within the realm, the same, you know, you know let's call it um bundle, uh, if you will, because there's not just one way to excel at life is something that I want to bring up here is that so many people try to go all in on one thing, but yet the other cards fall. And so what I always preach is there's no balance in people's lives, but there could be harmony. And harmony is that place where, you know, you're working towards a goal and that string, if it's a guitar, might be playing at a high pitch and you're putting a lot of effort into that. And something might just be a little bit lower, but you never drop the ball and you always play the strings. And so that's why I like harmonies because you always got to be working towards, you know, these four things, faith, fitness, fellowship, and finances, or, or heart, body, mind, and spirit. You always got to be working and have those in your life in some capacity because without them, you're going to fail. And, you know, that's something that I, I need you guys to understand. You can't let go of something completely. You have to have some kind of, you know, structure in your life around things that are going to drive you, fulfill you, and, uh, you know, bring back and pour back into you because you could always pour out and then you'd be empty. But anyway, let's get into the topic. Um, levels. The reason I bring this one up is, you know, coach had asked me, you know, as I'm coming in as kind of like the mindset and health advisor to this package where he's business and, and, uh, you know, heart and spirit, if you will, you know, he asked me, you know, what's it take to go pro? That's kind of our tagline. What's it take to go pro? And you know, when I looked at that and I said, well, there's just different levels to the game, right? Like what works for me as a pro uh, is somebody who is a pro in fitness and in my body. I tried to be a pro in football and it didn't work out. But what it takes to be at the level of a pro, it may not even be needed for the person who's just getting started. You know, so this is a perfect timing and perfect episode for this one is because when you start off the new year, you're always looking to audit and look back at the previous year of what went well or what did not. And then you look to adjust and you have good intentions going into the new year and say, this is what I want for my life, or this is what I want for this year. And, you know, you start putting into plan an action that you want to do and take to make you get to the next level. Well, if you're somebody who's just morbidly obese, overweight, can't find time for this, can't find time for that, makes excuses all the time then I would say the level that you need to start with is just consistency. Just find a way to be consistent in working towards eating healthier, getting up earlier, trying to prioritize a little bit more sleep, and do something physical during the day, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Just start. If you're a place where you just need to come from like couch to fit, the first place, the first level that you do is you work on your consistency. You work on showing up for yourself on a daily basis and you work on eating better than you were yesterday and then you continue to work on yourself every single day and that's the level that you start at then when you get some growth <clears throat> and i mean loss body fat loss or better health in some capacity then you're going to work on the next thing now you're going to work on a little bit more strength and resistance type of exercises you're going to work on a little bit more cardio you know on purpose not just movement um, you know, you go from exercise to training. Exercise is the, the act of just moving your body for the purposes of some cardiovascular endurance or something of that versus training, which is a specific goal looking to get the outcome, right? So that's what I would suggest you guys look at is what level are you at and have an honest assessment of where you are in the scheme of things. Have you fallen off the wagon and you just got to get back on track? What caused you to fall off the wagon? If, if you find that, you know, you can't do it without, um, you know, putting some money down and being accountable for your word and your actions, then do that. Do it like a diet bet to yourself because too many people, what I find, is they try to do the bare minimum to get the maximum results. People could pop, people would want to pop a pill just to get their, you know, their body in a better position because they're lazy and they don't have the dedication or consistency. So I say work on your dedication and consistency, but know what your vision is. And then you would always want to look at all the things that you can do to help you get there. Popping a pill or just getting a quick fix through cosmetic surgery or something like that is a band-aid for a bigger problem that you're always going to revert back to. So fix your mind first, fix your consistency first, fix your discipline first, and know what level you're on. So therefore, you know what effort you need to put towards. 
more people will do something that's harder than they need to start. And so therefore they fizzle and they don't continue to get to where they're supposed to be. So find out what level of fitness or business or mindset that you're in and use the tools and resources that are all around you via the internet or via coaches, et cetera. They're here for you. So for example, there's people that need an accountability coach. And so they either find friends or they find a coach or they find somebody somewhere, but make sure now you're auditing the people that are trying to audit you. Because if you're finding you're going to your friendship circles and these people aren't strong enough to keep you in line because they're barely strong enough to keep themselves in line, that's not a good person to, to, to see counsel from. Having a coach who probably doesn't look the part, you know, isn't acting accordingly and isn't a motivation to you is probably a not a good place to go. And I'm not saying that everybody who looks good is also a good coach. I'm not saying that either. But you want to find inspiration and motivation from the people that you see counsel for. Just like I went to Coach Burt and said, you know what? I'm willing to take a little bit of a, you know, a, a step backwards to go forward because you're on another level. And I want to get to that level. And I want to know what you know. And I want to see, you know, what you see. And I want to, you know, know the people that you know. And that's the 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 thing that it takes is, a, you know, a reflection upon yourself and where you're at. And then looking at the vision that you want for your future. So I kind of wanted to just jump out the new year with like looking at levels of where you're at, get super dialed in, audit your past, audit your current and say, this is what I want moving forward. I want to move away from this pain into this pleasure or whatever. I want this future for my life or for my family and know what it takes to get there from where you're at. A lot of times your answer is going to be people. Finding either people in your life that are going to keep you motivated or keep you accountable, or basically people in your business that's going to help you go to the next level so you can buy back some of your time, and people to actually tell you what you don't want to hear, but you need to hear. And so at the end of the day, usually people solve the problems for you. You just got to find the right people in your life. So hopefully this one at least was a, a little quick episode that you picked up on the new year. I know everyone's probably doing something like this, but um, you know this was a perfect segue back into recording just because I want to kind of get back into the groove here as I work really hard for, you know, Coach Burt and, and MBE, Michael Burt Enterprises and that team, there's something new that's coming around called the Greatness Factory of Nashville. And, um, you know, I'm going to have a little bit more hand in that project. It's going to be kind of like a we work on steroids where there's a podcasting studio, there's a big auditorium, and there's a, a working space where people can come in and rent the space, or they can actually have a full-time office. And it's really a place where we believe um, you know, we're going to work on your greatness, we're going to coach into you, not only just, you know, allow you to have a place where you're working, but pour into you the way we know how the way to elevate somebody. I do a lot of executive coaching right now within the organization between 2020 and coach Burt's and, um, you know, people need people and that's what we know. So we're not just bringing a greatness factory to the area. Uh, we're bringing a coaching factory, a place where people are getting poured into and elevated. And, uh, we have a lot of big plans for it. Obviously it's not my baby, it's coach Burt's, but you know, he has um, vision for me to have a role in that. And so I'm not sure exactly what that's going to look like in the future, but we are starting to go from, you know, more of, I would say, me just working for him to me collaborating with him on certain things, which is ultimately, um, you know, a better place for me to be in, in a headspace. So therefore I could still grow and, you know, be me within uh, this universe because he's such a polarizing figure, you know, as far as like what he does and how he, he, um, you know, does business and, you know, the level that he's at, he's now, you know, given some room for people like me that are hungry and entrepreneurial to grow within an organization. So look out for a greatness factory. We're going to be coming to Nashville. That's going to be something that we're going to be doing. And there'll probably be some franchising opportunities. So if you're interested in anything like that, whether you want to just work at the greatness factory, uh, rent space, rent the auditorium, do some podcasting while you're in Nashville and, um, you know, just be you know, brought into our environment, certainly let me know. We obviously do business coaching as well, as well as health coaching. So the super 60s are collaborative, you know, 60 day kind of like health package. We're working on buying body, mind, heart, and spirit. And uh, it's kind of be a way where we get the community kind of doing the same things all at the same time. So there's gonna be a start and end date on this one. And so that's going to be the new challenge that I'm going to be pushing off for the new year. And if you're not looking for all of that and you're just looking for just simple services, uh, you know, coaching one-on-one, -on -one, a little bit more guided with me and my other battle plan community, we have that as well. 
Um, I don't want to confuse anyone. You know, I still do coaching. So if you are looking for something going to new year, that is something that you can um, obviously reach out and see if it fits your budget uh, and your basically availability with the time that I'll require of you as far as workouts, training, nutrition, and being accountable to the group and what we do, you know, certainly reach out. You could always just always DM battle plan. That way it just lets me know where you're kind of coming in from. I usually use that on um, social media, but it just, it's just a good indicator, a keyword to let me know that you're looking for something in your health. Uh, and so that's why I do that. So you guys have a great one. This is a uh, episode number 51 and this is called levels.